it's time for another Funko Friday. This time it's Star Wars. Not again. Not, not, where are you? <laughs> That's it. I, I, I'm, no, I quit. No more. No more. Hi everybody, my name is Meg and welcome to Meglet is a geek where we geek out about everything Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, and a few other things. If you are new here, hi and welcome. I hope you feel as comfortable being as geeky as you like. If you're returning, thank you for geeking out with me once again. I really appreciate it. So we're doing another Funko Friday. And they don't seem to stay in their boxes. Yeah. They need to learn to behave. Because I tested my patience just a little bit. And I am not a Jedi, I'm a Sith. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Okay. So, these are some Star Wars Funkos in my collection I wanted to show you guys. So, let's start off with my favorite Jedi. And I don't have favorite characters, but I do have some. This is Ayla Secura from Star Wars. Um, this is 217, and this is a Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. There she is. She is a Twi'lek, and that is my one of my favorite races. The other one is Chiss, and if you know a little bit about Star Wars, that is Admiral Thrawn. He is a Chiss, and that's my other favorite race. I play as a Chiss or a Twi'lek on Star Wars The Old Republic, the multiplayer online game. Those are my two favorite. Also, I love the Sith because there is a Sith species. But Ayla is one of my favorite Jedi. So I didn't get the Smuggler's Bounty Box. I actually bought her separately from a seller. There she is. So we're going to get her out. like most Star Wars characters. She comes with a stand and all of the Star Wars, I believe, are bobbleheads. So we're getting her put around the stand, maybe. Maybe not. Where are your feet? There we go. Okay, I can't get her on the stand, so. There she is with the bobble, bobble, bobbles. She's got her lightsaber right there. She is one of my favorite Jedi. I only know her from the movies, but I believe she shows up in the Clone Wars cartoon. I believe so. I don't know. I don't know that much about her character, but she's a Twi'lek and I love Twi'leks. So I was really happy when her pop came out. Yes, so happy to have her. And next, this is Finnick Shand from Star Wars. She's in The Mandalorian and she's in the Book of Boba Fett. She's played my Ming Na. Um, so we all know her as the voice of the original Mulan. She was Agent May in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And now she's in the Star Wars universe. She's, she's, she's got, she's got all three. But I loved her character. I haven't seen the book of Boba Fett, but I have seen um, The Mandalorian season one. I think I watched season two too. Um, but I loved her character. Of course, you have to love her actress. I grew up with her being Chun-Li in the Street Fighter movie. So, yay, their bobbleheads are going to drive me nuts. So she is 481. And she is very much connected to her stand, thankfully. That way I don't lose it. Most of these don't come out of their boxes because I don't have any place to put them. Her and Boba Fett. Connect them all. And next one I have 
is one of my favorite vehicles, which is the TIE Fighter. And this has a pilot in it. And this was Star Wars A New Hope 40th anniversary one. This is two, two, one. I just realized my hair ties on my hand, not my hair. <laughs> I'm not, but it's, it's been a long day today. I'm ready for the weekend. I'm going to spend it with Ben and Danielle over the Malik Adventures. So, yeah. this out. And here it is. I am so behind in collecting my Star Wars Pops. His head doesn't bobble quite as much as everyone else's does, but I love that it's a TIE Fighter on top of a little Death Star stand. Look at that. I really need to get Kylo Ren and his Interceptor because I love, I love the Empire's vehicles. They're very loud, very loud and noisy. And this one is a Wumpa! Hoth is my favorite planet, so any creature of Hoth I love. I love the Wumpa! And I got a really good deal on this one on eBay. And this, um, this is a tall one. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. It is flocked, so it, it has fuzzies. This is number 39. So excited. I know, I think this is my only flocked pop that I own. My hair is caught on the box. There it is. I think it's from my hair tie. <laughs> but here he is, very angry Wampa. But he, he's, he's, he is very flocked and fuzzy and so cute. Look at him. He is, I believe, a six inch pop. So he's, he's bigger than the normals. But he is so cute and I needed him for a project that may show up in vlog a week. So he's he's the most recent purchase. And I'm not being nice when I put them in boxes. Last but not least is the one that is never in its box. <clears throat> this the child pop. <laughs> it is so tall and I forget how tall it is because I think it's the same height as the Ursula, the giant Ursula that I have. This was a gift from my friend Mickey. I will link her channel down in the description. Um, so this was the box it came in and ever since I got it, it has not been in the box because it sits on top of the TV in the other room. And this is the little troublemaker. He's a very big troublemaker. And he literally just sits on top of the TV, the TV stand in the other room. So he's very dusty because obviously I don't clean well. But when he's not causing trouble and using the force, he's a pretty good satellite dish. <laughs> I'm joking. But yes, this is the child Grogu and it was all thanks to my friend Mickey, so thank you, Mickey. I still love him. Even though he almost made me quit Funko Fridays. Still questionable whether I will or not. But thank you for watching. Um, other channels do Funko Friday. Connie Loves Disney does. I know the Malik Adventures does. I'm sure there are more channels out there. I will link both of those channels in the description below if you want to check them out and support Funko Fridays by other people. I don't know when they post Funko Fridays, so... I just, when I have the Funkos that I want to show you. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't forget to like the video, comment down below. What do you think of the Funko Pops? What are some of your favorite Star Wars characters? Woohoo, there we go. That was smooth. <laughs> um, yeah. As I said, some of them are in box, some of them aren't. Subscribe for more geeky content and thank you for watching. And as always, stay geeky. This is the way.